Today we're at Ponca City at the fire station and we're here with our grain entrapment simulator trailer to train firefighters and ag personnel and how to work safely in a grain environment. Also how to rescue someone if they do get entrapped in a grain bin. Actually each one of them will get an opportunity to be entrapped in, in, in grain inside this, uh, this one of a kind trailer we have here and the rest of the uh, crew will help get them out of that trailer. They learn techniques of how to get people out of grain entrapment situations. They also feel like what it's like to be inside this environment. Grain acts like no other material that we know of. It has physical properties that are very unique and that make it, makes it very difficult to work in and around someone if someone is entrapped in grain. Uh, well, we have two down holes that are going to have simulated grain in them uh, and we're actually putting people down to about waist level. Um, and they're getting in there, the uh, rescuers are, and uh, <clears throat> going through and getting them access to them, putting a coffer dam around them, um, and getting the grain from around them to be able to hoist them out with rope rescue equipment. And then also down here on the ground, we have uh, the cutting station and also a ladder raising uh, station where if we had to put a ladder on the side of a semi trailer or a hopper trailer to lift a patient out and bring him down to the ground that we could uh, have an ease to do that. This project has uh, been a dream of ours for seven or eight years now. Uh, it started actually with the accident that we had at Hydro, Oklahoma a few years back where we lost a fire chief in a grain bin. Uh, it happened at, at the co-op in Hydro, Oklahoma. Some soybeans had uh, gotten wet, they caught on fire. The firemen were asked to go in and help remediate that fire and uh, which it was a, not a train a situation where they were not trained. There was nothing they could do uh, by going in that bin. We discovered then that our Oklahoma community, particularly our, our rescue people, didn't have the experience or the knowledge in what to do in case of an emergency in a grain bin. So uh, several entities within the state all came together to brainstorm what we could do to help get this training out to the state. It's something that we don't deal with a lot of times. Um, you know, you take medical calls, you take fire calls. We run a lot of those as fire department wise, um, but we don't ever run a lot of technical rescue stuff, especially grain bins. Uh, you're looking at an average of 24 to 26 grain bins nationally, uh, grain bin emergencies that result in death uh, nationally. So the, we call it a high risk, low frequency incident where the risk is very high for what we're having to do um, with a very low frequency of it happening. Um, so that involves, uh, after the hydro incident, we was able to put in for a grant for this uh, to kind of get awareness out. Uh, there's a few other programs in the nation pushing this, but this allows us uh, to go in and teach uh, fire, fire departments, first responders, but uh, also the grain bin employees is kind of our main push as far as teaching them to be safe um, in all aspects of their job to keep the rescue from needing to take place in the first place. 